Hi guys and welcome to yet another very exciting Adobe Premiere Pro tutorial and why is it exciting because today we will be learning about trim monitor okay it does not get any more exciting than that don't it doesn't it okay so you might be saying okay we got program monitor source monitor timeline project pair uh, is he gonna pop another video in here the fifth one no actually we gonna open the trim monitor inside the program monitor and this is how you do it you come to any edit point actually let me reduce the sound of the waveform first of all a little because then you guys won't be able to uh, listen to me okay on the library down suppose you come to any uh, edit point or the place where two clips are dry you know they are called edit points Okay, this one, this one, or wherever. And then you put your cursor over it, and it sort of mark appears. Then you double click it, and then voila, your program monitor changes into this uh, trim monitor. Now, a word about trim monitor. I will go over all these buttons in a few seconds, but let me tell you something. You must be uh, thinking a bit in your question that. Well, in my editing or trim techniques that you learned in the timeline weren't they enough to edit a project that we need another type of trimming? Uh, well, that is uh, the answer is yes and no. Well, for a basic and uh, simplified editing, it is uh, fine, and even for a professional one, it is also fine. But the a trim monitor gives you even more precise uh, control over your trimming and your footage manipulation. You can, uh, you know, do anything uh, with it. And uh, the visual representation of your um, trimming is shown here. You know, for example, here in here you could trim and some frame representation was shown here. But here you are visually seeing that which frames that you are getting to and which frame you are getting out of work. So now it tells you that this clip ends at 35 seconds and 23 nanoseconds or something and this frame or clip starts at 35.24 uh, seconds. So uh, how to use the source monitor? Well, to switch uh, in the program actually auto saved. To use it, you put your cursor between the two uh, windows and the rolling edit trim icon appears or you can use this by dragging it to one, one side or you can use it to dragging it to the other side uh, you know what uh, rolling uh, trim edit does because i already made a whole uh, video about it or a tutorial about it so i'm not going to go over that but if you do want to use the rolling trim uh, edit and do it visually this is the way you do it but if you want to use the ripples edit what you do is you bring your cursor here and when it turns to yellow and you click in one of these videos and then as it shows in here in the clip then now if you drag or manipulate the window that clip will be you know uh, changed and like this you know for example if you want this clip to end at 40 seconds or you want it to end at 35 seconds you can do that then. the same is true for the other one if you want this clip to be edited with the ripple edit trim then you click in it and then you use your mouse drag it uh, back and forth or right and left and if the trimming or the editing will ever okay at the moment i'm gonna keep it at the same place where it is now i'm gonna talk about this button now these buttons uh, tell you okay i'm gonna click on this one if you click on this negative one it means that the uh, clip would go or trim one frame back like this and if you click on this five a negative five it will trim five negative and like that you can trim as much as you want same is true in this direction if you you know okay it went out of screen okay. as you can see I have gone back in this trim about utility one for you to see the effects 
okay so it gives you really precise control over this these are called the post roll and the pre roll buttons and the amount how much they you know change or edit your trim now your footage negative one and negative five you can also control this and you can also control the dragging uh, you know uh, and capturing trim also and how you do that by going into edit and performance and go to playback in here then you can specify that for example you want your preview to be edited more than three seconds at a time or post roll to be edited more than two seconds at a time but i would leave that three and two because that is a little bit out of professional league out and out of my league so i would leave that at that place so okay this thing is going too far to the right okay i'm gonna click on this and bring it back i suppose to zero okay and i'm gonna click on this and also gonna bring this back which is not going to work actually okay now it's going to be out of sync okay actually we should do this this way Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So basically, that's how you use the uh, trim monitor. Actually, I was a little bit carried away. Forgot that I was making a tutorial and start editing my footage. So I hope you guys forgive me for my little mistake. The person is never perfect, as you can see. Okay, so. Trim monitor is a great way to trim your footage and do it professionally and it looks good also you know because uh, then you know the difference between a novice and a professional guy who has done the trimming and that's how you do it and now the gear is in on YouTube camera. Okay, so anything else is that uh, you can also use the JKL keys in here. Suppose I want to trim back, I would press the JK and the trim would go backward. Actually, the L key like this, and then use the JK backwards like this. And I can do also this with slow motion, holding the K and the key bound. And now it's doing it in slow motion like that. And I can also go backwards in slow motion like that. Okay, so guys, so guys, that's it. That's the trim monitor for you, and how you can edit your footage with a visual representation of every frame that is being trimmed. I hope you like this tutorial, and please let me know what you think of this. Uh, Adobe Premiere Pro playlist in the comment section and if you want me to make a tutorial about something or if you want to give me some suggestion about these tutorials please be honest and frank and thank you for watching I will see you in the next tutorial bye for now